Hello there, good people. Welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm Rob Shaw, here to talk a little fantasy football. I deserve some credit, by the way. Last weekend, it was here that I told you to pick up Ahmad Bradshaw. If only I would have taken my own advice. I also didn't say anything about Miles Austin. What a performance he just had. So let's go on and talk a little bit about some of the players you want to pick up right now, some of the guys you want to consider dropping. First, on the way up, Matt Hasselback of the Seattle Seahawks. Apparently had some broken ribs. That explains why he was out the last couple of weeks. Well, he was back in a big way. He had four touchdowns. Huge game here. Remember, these are the best weapons that he's ever had as a quarterback in the NFL. I'm talking about TJ Hushmanzada, Nate Burleson, one of the most underrated wide receivers, John Carlson at tight end. They're not putting the ball on the ground with Julius Jones and Edron James. They're keeping it up in the air. And Matt Hasselbeck is going to have some great fantasy potential over the next couple of months, assuming he could stay healthy. As far as a player going down, well, this was an interesting one. I actually expected big things out of him, but Derek Anderson, a very interesting performance there led the Browns to a win on the road with just two completions out of 17 attempts also had an interception in this one uh, interesting game I'm not really sure what to say apparently him and Trent Edwards are both garbage when it comes to fantasy football apparently he's a winner in reality though so it'll be interesting to see if he does get the next start he's better than this remember last weekend against the Bengals he threw for over 260 yards so not really sure what to say about this one all right next up we go to the running backs as far as a player moving up these days, Cedric Benson, we knew he was good. We know he was worth starting, but we didn't know if this is one of those guys you start every single week, no matter the opponent. I guess he showed it to us the first time when he played against the Pittsburgh Steelers and put up pretty decent numbers, but this was unbelievable against the Baltimore Ravens. As far as a guy who is not worth starting these days, uh, there's a lot of them I can mention here, such as apparently uh, Jerome Harrison not getting the yards over Jamal Lewis. I could also discuss Larry Johnson, but this time we talk about Cadillac Williams. Ten rushes for eight yards. Not as bad as last weeks six rushes for negative three yards I think it was from Darren McFadden but this is pretty bad particularly when Derek Ward goes out there and puts up better numbers in fact I think Ward picked up 23 yards on one single play so what to expect from Cadillac well I don't have a feeling that I have a good feeling the Cadillac is going to go in the garage for a little bit he's not going to get as many carries for the Bucks they should probably go to Derek Ward he got off to a great start this year it was an excellent story but he's just simply not providing you much when it comes to fantasy football right now. Next up, we talk about a wide receiver. I mentioned him before, Miles Austin. What a performance for the Dallas Cowboys. An all-time record, 10 receptions, 250 receiving yards, couple of touchdowns, 159, 160-yarder. They came in very important moments of the game. I understand he started because Roy Williams was out, but they might want to consider continuing to start this guy. I know if I had him on my team, I would keep him out there in the starting lineup at least until he proves that he's not capable of putting up over 60 yards a game each week. So for now, Miles Austin, a must pick up, a guy you got to start right away. And finally, a guy you might want to bench for a little bit, very sad story, Calvin Johnson for the Detroit Lions. Detroit actually performed pretty well this weekend against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They held up their end of the bargain, and it was surprising because Matthew Stafford was out last uh, because of an injury last weekend. This weekend, it was an injury to Calvin Johnson that might keep him out for a little bit. He only had one reception for two yards. Apparently, it was a calf strain, or at least that's what they primarily are saying. It's an issue with his right calf. Let's see what's going to happen here tomorrow. News and notes. I'm sure we'll go over it. But for now, look for alternatives. Again, Miles Austin, one of those guys you might want to pick up for your fantasy team in order to start him over someone like Calvin Johnson, who's currently injured. Well, my friends, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Until we meet again, I'm Rob Shaw, signing out.